Hi, yes, this is Chris. I was uh, looking at your house on Zillow on South Grand. I was calling to see if it was still available. Yes, it is. Great, great. And uh, like I said, my name is Chris. What was your name? Uh, Terry. Hey, Terry. How are you today? Good. Well, that's good. So um, I saw it on Zillow there, and uh, it looks like it's in pretty good shape and everything. Does it need any repairs, anything that you're aware of? No, it's all been remodeled. Uh, I mean, oh, okay. yeah, it's all, all, all except for the two bedrooms. Every wall in here has got new drywall on it. Um, all new light fixtures, new switches, new receptacles. Uh, bathrooms been totally remodeled. Uh, you know, new shower stall, new vanities, uh, all the interior doors are brand new, six panel doors. Um, there's new carpet. Uh, the hardwood floors in the bedrooms have been um, uh, redone. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's in good shape. Oh, wow. Sounds like a pretty good house. What made you decide to want to sell it? Uh, I'm just looking to get uh, someplace bigger and uh, get out closer to my daughter. Oh, uh, okay. So you still live in there now? Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, okay. And so you're looking to move closer to the daughter. I know that's right. Nothing like having good kids around, right? Right, right, yep. Yeah, I got two dogs and my daughter, and, uh, you know, I just want to get out closer to where she lives and um, give my dogs a little more room to run. Oh, okay. So they need, like, a big yard or something, huh? Yeah, I mean, the yard's good size here, but the main thing's just getting closer to her. I know that's right. What kind of dogs do you have? Uh, Two pit bulls. Oh, the nice kind, though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They are nice. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, we hope to get them a new home and everything. Um, and so let's see here. Um, so the house doesn't need any repairs. Uh, and then what kind of timeline are you working on? If we were able to work out everything, how soon would you like to close? Uh, I mean, we could – well, I mean, whatever works is fine with me. I already – I get a place lined up. I mean, uh, I could do, uh, you know, say, I mean, we could do a month, two months, something like that. Oh, I okay. Mean, so just enough time uh, to get you packed up and moved and everything, huh? Right, right. Exactly. So I can understand that. And so um, let's see here. You got the. So you're going to, I guess, move everything out of there and you won't have any contents left. It'll be vacant if we bought it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Have you thought about just listening with a real estate agent or something like that? Well, yeah, I got a real estate guy and he's getting ready to get involved in it. But if he sells it, it's going to go up to $125,000. You know, because yeah, you got to cover that commission, they, they, right? They, well, they it's ten thousand dollars just to pay them to do everything wow so, yeah you well, get a real estate agency now if you go through the title company they'll write everything up we agree on the terms they write everything up it's like a hundred bucks you go through a real estate company all their paperwork and this that and the other it's ten thousand dollars wow so, that's expensive yeah. huh well, yeah, they charge seven per, six to seven percent, and then a three hundred and fifty dollar fee for uh, all their other stuff. And I've already had wow. I've already had an I've already had an occupancy occupancy inspection done by St. Louis County, and it passed the occupancy inspection. So it's oh, already been yeah, everything's been checked out by the county. So uh, the only thing is, is those inspections are only good for 30 days. And when I originally oh. listed, it was right before the COVID-19. So I would have to set up another occupancy inspection. 
I don't see any reason why it wouldn't pass because nothing's changed in that time period. You know, it's, right, just, one right. their, it's just one of their st- things. They figure if you get the occupancy inspection, somebody should be moved in there. So, right. but unfor- un- <clears throat> like I said, unfortunately, it's the COVID-19 stuff. So, I mean, but no, you get, you like doing a for sale by owner, um, you have all your, you know, approval paperwork and everything ready um, through your lender or whoever you're using. And then we just go up to the title company, agree on the terms, um, you know, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's pretty standard. But yeah, but basically what we do is buy houses for cash in any condition, regardless of how much you owe. Uh, about how much did you still owe on this one? What's that now? About how much did you still owe on it? Oh, like eighty six, but I also have about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars invested in it. Oh so yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm just looking to break even. So if yeah. I can get to one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars without an agent, good deal. I break even. I walk away. If I got to use it, go through the agent, it's one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, and get what I get. Okay, so yeah, I mean, that, that sounds pretty fair. You sound pretty reasonable, so that's that makes sense. So you want to get about one fifteen? Yeah, and I did an appraisal on it, and then before any of the work was done, it appraised out at one hundred twelve thousand dollars. And like I said, I got six grand invested in just a bathroom alone with all the new plumbing, fixtures, walls, light fixtures. And then it's got a two car, it's like 340 square foot, I believe, detached garage on it. Um, privacy fence around the back portion of the yard. Uh, you know, I got probably about 12 to 1500 bucks just in the fence alone. Um, wow, he really spent a lot of money. I mean, just like I said, I, I've got some money invested in it. I was planning on staying here, but things change. And, uh, you know, the roof was put on about a year, I think, right before I bought the place. So the roof's only about four years old on this place. Oh, wow. I was just going to ask you about that. What about foundation? Yeah. Has that been giving you the problems? No, no, there's a sump pit down there in the basement. It's a partial basement. There's a sump pit down there. Um, but uh, uh, I did have a little bit of, like, water coming in there. But uh, they had these flower beds in the front of the house, and they didn't have them. They had them put up against the house. And it was causing water to come in through that wall there. After I removed them, I pulled four truckloads of rock out of this place. Wow! They had rock. They had, wow. yeah. They had they had stone flower beds and stone all over the place. I had literally four truckloads of rock out of here. Mm mm mm. Well, you know it can happen. You know, I'm, I'm just glad you got it up and running because, you know, a lot of times people start renovating houses and can't finish it for whatever reason, you know? Yeah, no, I've been I've been here, uh, you know, the only thing <clears throat> I haven't done here was the floors in the living room and dining room, but they got tile floors in here, and I didn't see any reason to replace them. Put a yeah. couple new kitchen cabinets in because uh, he – there was like two of them in here that weren't in the best of shape, so I replaced those. Um, um, the oven is uh, fairly new. The dishwasher is fairly new. The microwave is a little bit of an older model. The refrigerator is a little bit of an older model. But I'll leave all that along with the washer and dryer. Just, oh, wow. You're going to leave the appliances too? How nice of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll... I'll like I said, all the light fixtures, everything's all brand new. So it's only, let's see, I got the, everything finished up in the house on the market back in 
I think I put it on the market like in October, and you know that's always a bad time for kids going back to school. Nobody wants to move or anything. Right, so they already settled where they're going to be. Right, and so no matter as soon as things started getting getting good and people were starting to come and look at it, then all of a sudden the COVID nineteen stuff hit. So bad time in there. Right. Yeah. So it's just been shitty timing, yeah. So what's more uh, important to you, getting the price you want or a quick sale? Uh, I, I I want my 115 grand, and that's fine with me. So the price is more important to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, uh, so like I say, we buy them for cash, and there's you know we pay all the real estate commissions and fees if there are any. There are no real estate commissions or fees. If there are any closing costs, we pay those as well. Um, do you, you think you have any wiggle room on that? One fifteen. <clears throat> well, I mean, that's that's about as low as I can go. I and I don't see that being too unreasonable because there's people around here asking a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Yeah. You know. And that's right. I would agree. And so let me ask you this. Um we 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 can offer you, you know, more than most people can. If you uh would you consider taking a monthly payment until we paid you off in full? A monthly payment? Yes, sir. Uh I don't know about all that, no. Well, it's just another way that we buy houses. Um, you know, we buy them outright for cash, but a lot, many times we don't buy them for retail value. I know you can understand that. But we can actually offer you more or closer to the price you're asking uh, in the event that you were able to do something more creative. Now, if I mean, we were able you, to do well, Yeah, well, I mean, what are you talking about as far as payments? I mean, so yeah, so basically we will uh, we will close the deal through a real estate attorney. Uh, you know, all, you know everything would be in writing and disclosed. There's no surprises or anything. We actually buy houses like this all the time. We would be 100% responsible for all of the maintenance and repairs of the property. So you'll never get a call to say, hey, yeah, something's not working right or anything like that. We take care of all the maintenance, repairs, and anything that goes with that house. All you do is collect the payment. You think something like that would work for you? So, so you mean like rent it and then you guys manage it? No, what I'm saying is we would actually buy the house. The only thing is the loan would stay in your name temporarily, but we would make the payments on your behalf, and you don't have to do anything with the house at all. Uh, no, I, 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 would, I, yeah, I really wouldn't be interested in any kind of payment deal like that or anything. So, like I yeah, said, he would be protected in the deal through a real estate attorney. You know, that's just an option. You know, I just I didn't know if anybody ever told you, you know, that there was an option. You could sell your house quickly so you can move on to bigger and better things. And I could send you some stuff over in writing if you want it, you know, that way. So you can actually look it over, think about it, and do whatever you want from there. Uh, is that yeah, something you think would work for you? No, I'd, I'd much rather just sell it and be done with it and just walk away and and – yeah, and just have all my money at once where I think it's their money that I owe them and I get my money, my money that I get invested and I can just walk away. Okay, that's totally fine. So let me ask you this. What are you going to do if you're not able to sell it? I don't know. I might just sit on it for another year and see what happens or it might, it might I don't know. You might get to call your friend Chris back and sell it to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I just, uh, like I said, I just want to get my money, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to get rich or anything. I don't think I'm asking. Like I said, if you've seen the condition of this house when I bought it and it appraised out at 112000 I don't see why after all this being done to it, why 115 is so much, you know? Like right. I said, have you, take, have you gotten any offers on it or anything so far? <clears throat> well, I mean, like I said, it's just uh, just getting things going again after this COVID-19 stuff. But before, right before the COVID-19, I had two or three people that were saying they wanted to buy it, and that was at 119. Uh, it was listed for 119,000 then. And uh, they were wanting to buy it, 
But due to the COVID-19 stuff, everybody just kind of backed away from everything. Mm. So, yeah, so, so you haven't uh, had anybody interested recently, though? Uh, not not in the past couple of weeks. I've I've had a lot a lot of investors. People want me to do rent with option to buy and stuff like that. And yeah, you know, like I said, I just want to sell it and walk away. Right, right. And so that's exactly what we would look to do is to actually buy it. We're not looking to we're not looking to rent it. We want to actually buy it, and uh, you know, and then you can walk away and not have to deal with that house anymore. Collect your money and go on about life. Yeah, but you know, like cool. I said, it's just an option. And so I just thought I would, t- you know, touch base with you. Plus, like I said, we buy the house as is. You don't have to do anything to it. You don't have to do it. You know, we take it as it sits. You don't have to worry about going up for us to go get appraisals or go through some banks and wait for their loan and wait sixty days. You know the song and dance that goes along. Right, with coming right. But you know, yeah. it's just an option. So I just thought I would present it to you and see if it was something you were open to. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, in, unless the payments were up high enough and I, I'm blocked, like I said, if I'm able to walk away, not be hassled, and I'm getting a fat payment each month, you know. What do you consider a fat payment? Well, I mean, it would have to be like, you know, say, I mean. Uh, oh, not that much. Oh, so much. Oh, okay. You <laughs> <me>. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, if it was like, say, a thousand bucks a month for two years or something like that, you know, I mean, something like that. It, yeah. Okay. I could work with that. But no, I don't right. want to. I mean, but I ain't gonna do no little like a uh, you know three hundred dollars a month deal or something like that. That's not gonna work for me. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? No yeah, and I understand. What do you think it would rent for if you were just to rent it out to a, a tenant and deal with that stuff? Oh, I mean, well, I mean, a buddy of mine, he's getting a, a grand a month, not far from here, and he asked me about doing that and. You know, I, I just don't want to have to come back in and fix a place after somebody tears up all my hard work. You know, I don't, exactly. I don't want to see it. If I sell it and somebody tears it up, I don't have to see it. <laughs> right. And that's why we say we want to buy it where you don't have to ever come back, fix nothing. And all you do is collect the payment. But that's up to you. You know, like I said, I don't know if it's better for me. You want me to just check back within a couple of weeks or something and see if something changes or what are your thoughts? Uh, I mean, like I said, uh, yeah, you can you can try. Uh, like I said, but I'm getting ready to go uh, with the real estate agent. I'm going to be setting up a photographer to come back in and take new photos and all that stuff. But once they're involved, then it goes back up to 125. So just so yeah. I can get just so, just so I can get my money, and they got to get theirs. Right, yeah. I understand. So that's that's an option too, you know. I just wanted to make sure before you go spend more money, you have other options on the table that, that may work better for you. But, you know, it's totally your decision. You can do whatever makes you feel better. Right. You know? And like I, like I said, I'm not opposed to monthly payments, but they better be enough to cover, you know, they better be enough to cover my investment that I'm still paying off, you know. Right, right. So you wouldn't consider something like, Five hundred a month, something like that. Five hundred a month over what six years? Yeah, or less. Uh, About six years. I shouldn't take that long. Uh. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I, I'd rather cut if if I, if, they, if that could be cut in half, where more money, less time. I. I can, probably do something like that so yeah so basically how we normally structured ones like that is we set it up you know for that payment and then we set it up to where it's a balloon payment due in a certain amount of time so like that six years or something like that or even five years we would set it up to where it has a balloon payment to where it would be due in full at that time does that make sense 
uh, I'm I'm not quite following you. So it's like a uh, meaning that the entire uh, amount purchase amount is due in full within that you know six year period. Even though you're oh. making, you know, you know, we could set it up like that. We do these type of creative deals all the time. Like I say, this is actually my specialty. You know, we we work out deals to, you know, get you know, get your house sold quickly without going through all that problem of getting pictures and having drones come over and real estate agents and waiting on people's loans to go through, loans to fall through. You know how this stuff goes. I mean, that's totally up to do to you though if you want to go down that path. I just never tell people to do that. I say, you know, if you got an option. That makes sense to you. Go ahead and move on it while you got it. You know what I mean? Right, right, absolutely. Yeah, like yeah. I said, I like I like, stuff over in writing. Yeah, that's fine if you want to do that. That's perfectly fine. Um, like I said, I'd be more apt though if it was, you know, two or three years and the payments were increased. Then I, I might be a little more flexible on that. But I don't want to wait five or six years to get all my money. It makes sense. That's fair. So what's the best email address for you, Terry? Uh, at gmail.com. I don't like that. <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> All right, uh, Terry. So like I said, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do a little research first to see some cost of comparable home sales in the area. And then I'm going to uh, send you an email uh, with an offer in writing so that you can look it over. And uh, we'll see if we can work something out here because I think, you know, we can make a deal happen without you going that long route, going through the pictures and the real estate agent and all of that. You know, I want to make, I want to save you from that if possible. Yeah, like I said, if, uh, like I said, if the price is right, I mean, I can, I can flex on that. But, uh, and, I, and, and like I said, I don't, I don't think I'm asking too terribly much because I've kept an eye on a lot of stuff around here, and they're fixing up houses around here all the time. So the neighborhoods, you know, it appears to be, you know, keeping up or getting better as far as the the homes in the surrounding area. And like I said, I see some I, I see some of these people that got you know, two bedroom, single bath house, but it's you know a one a hundred to two hundred square foot smaller with no garage, and they're asking one hundred thirty four thousand dollars. I don't figure how they can justify that, but that might be why their house has been sitting on the market for two years. Exactly, um, and they end up selling to us in the end <laughs> when right, they could have did right. it two years prior. That's what I say. Don't go down that path. So there, there you go, Terry. Did you have any other questions or anything for me for now? No, no, no. Okay, and I'm going to also yeah, send you yeah. a, uh, like I said, the email. It'll have our contact information, website, and everything like that. You can do any research you want, and uh, you know you'll see some testimonials of people that have worked with us in the past, and you'll say, "Man, where you been all this time?" So we're going to try to save the day for you as well. Okay, I appreciate that. All right, so that'll work. Thank you. You have a good day. Okay. All right. You too. Okay, bye-bye. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match. Not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com.